just gonna, I'm just going to do a quick one for you today. This is uh, specifically for Fallon Handed 505. He's requested a uh, risotto. So he's requested a risotto and he's also requested a chicken curry. So today I'll get the risotto done. So I've taken a normal risotto. I'm going to put a bit of a different spin on it. So I'm going to do a pancetta and pumpkin risotto. So for pumpkin I'm using butternut pumpkin. And with that I'll do a smoked trout, watercress, and uh, cherry tomato salad. So let's get stuck into it. Right, so I'm starting off with the medium pot. In, um, in the meantime, I've put a pot of chicken stock on to heat up. This is a chicken stock that I made earlier and I froze down. So I've just brought that back up to the heat and I need to make sure that it's very close to boiling for my risotto to cook evenly. So while I've got the chicken stock on at the back, I've got the pot in front over here. I've um, finely diced one onion which I'll put on to sweat. So that's going to sweat slightly, so basically I'm cooking it without colouring it. While that's sweating off, I'll add about a heap teaspoon of minced garlic. And I'll continue cooking that out for about two to three minutes. And then I'll add my um, raw arborio rice. So over here I've got some pancetta which is an air dried ham. So just be, while I've got the um, onions on the stove I'm just going to dice this up finely. Add that to my onions and then I'll add my arborio rice. So I'm just going to slice it across and then across again. This is going to give my risotto a really rich flavour. It'll crisp up sliced, um, slightly while the onions are cooking and it'll give my risotto quite a good texture and a little bit of colour. Right, now my, um, my pot's got a little bit of colour on the bottom there. My bacon's crisped up a little bit, the onions are cooked out. So, while I've got the onions and the pancetta cooking, I'll add my arborio rice. So that's raw arborio rice. Arborio is a short grain rice and because it's short grain, it's quite starchy. So, we'll add the rice in. Give it a few minutes in the pot. We'll just mix all that bacon through it. Sorry, that pancetta. Mix all that pancetta through it. Let all that pancetta fat coat the rice evenly. Let a bit of flavor develop. Now, if I was going to add any herb to that, like thyme or rosemary, I would add it now so that it can go through the risotto. But I'm going to leave my risotto plain today. Um, without too much herbs because I don't want to take away from the flavor of the pancetta, the pumpkin and the, um, the trout later. So now to that I add uh, a glass of white wine to deglaze the bottom of the pan and to uh, start that um, arborio rice steaming off. So I've added a glass of white wine to that give it a few minutes and then I'll start ladling my chicken stock in. Now, I've used chicken stock in this, but realistically you can use any stock you want. Vegetable stock, fish stock, whatever really takes your fancy. The, the stock gives it added flavor, gives your um, risotto a bit of body. All right, I'm gonna add my stock now. So, it's important to notice that while I'm adding my stock, I'm not stirring my rice constantly. Um, it's just my method of doing a risotto. I prefer not to stir it. A lot of the traditionalists say you should stir a risotto while you're cooking it. I prefer to use the absorption method and just let the rice absorb that stock and let the rice cook out. Um, for me it comes out a little bit fluffier but at the end of the day each to their own. So I've just put enough stock in there just to um, cover the rice just enough and then I'll keep that level up there. As the, as the stock evaporates, I'll just keep adding more stock until it gets about, I'd say about halfway to three quarters. So while that rice is cooking out, I'll keep an eye on it and I'll start on my pumpkin, peeling my pumpkin and cutting that up now. So that's my pumpkin all cubed up. So I'm constantly keeping an eye on that risotto, topping up with stock as I need it. When the risotto is about halfway, I'll add my cubed pumpkin and mix it through and allow that to cook through as well. 
So I'm still cooking the risotto out over a, a medium to low heat. Now, if you look at the actual grain of rice, you can see that um, it's quite white the whole way through. So as it goes clearer, so the rice cooks. So obviously this has only been cooking for a few minutes now. But as we, um, as, as we progress with the cooking, just keep an eye on the um, transparency or the translucency of that uh, grain of rice and that will give you an indication of how far along the risotto is. So the risotto is about halfway now. So I'll add my diced pumpkin to this. Fold it through. I'll add a little bit more stock just to cover that. And I'll keep cooking it. And hopefully by the time the, um, the rice is cooked, the pumpkin will be perfectly cooked as well. And then I'll be able to finish my risotto off. So the risotto has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. First of all, the pumpkin. The pumpkin's cooked perfectly. It's still quite firm, but um, it's cooked through. So that'll give me a little bit of um, texture through the risotto. The rice itself, it's a little bit nutty, so um, al dente, but it's cooked perfectly. And it can sit there for a few minutes while I add my seasoning, my butter, my parmesan, and my cheese through it as well. So I start off by adding some cream to it mix that through, that will take a few minutes to absorb while that's absorbing I'll add my seasoning so two good pinches of sea salt I'll add some uh, pepper And for a bit of color, because as you can see, this is fairly um, pale, for a bit of color, I'll actually add some chopped parsley. So I'm grating in some parmesan, about uh, maybe a quarter of that wedge. Keeping in mind that I'm actually going to save some to go on top later. Finally a big knob of butter. So I'll mix that through, allow that to melt, and that will give my risotto a very nice sheen. and fantastic rich flavor. Before I finish it off and serve it up, I'll just double check that seasoning, make sure it's got enough salt through that. And obviously double check that pepper as well and then we'll plate it up. Risotto is just sitting resting for a few minutes. I'm going to quickly get the salad done and then I'll plate it up. So in the bowl I've got um, baby watercress. To that I'm going to add a couple of cherry tomatoes. So I've got heirloom tomatoes in there, grape tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. To that I'm going to shave a little bit of parmesan. So again, this is that uh, grana pandana parmesan. A couple of shavings of parmesan to that. I'm going to add a little bit of um, South Australian extra virgin olive oil. And for a little bit of acidity, I'm going to add maybe about a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. So that's our salad there. Now, to that, we'll be putting some smoked trout. So, I'm just going to gently lift back the skin. Something important to remember with smoked trout is, or with all trout actually, that it actually has very fine bones. So just be careful of those bones as you are. Um, plating that up. Now, the flesh actually lifts up very easily. I'm not too concerned about um, breaking it up or serving it whole because I actually want broken pieces to go through that salad. So I'm just lifting it gently off and just watching for bones while I'm working. You'll notice I'm using gloves so I don't get fish all over my hands. But as you can see that 
flesh is just pulling straight off those bones and leaving them behind. So that would be enough for my salad. And I'm just going to break it apart very gently. And mix it through that salad. Again, checking for bones as I'm going along. So that's me right there. I'll mix that and right, so I'm starting to plate up my risotto. It's been sitting for a few minutes, and as you can see, it's beautiful, creamy. The flavor is wonderful. It's got that pumpkin through there. It's uh, got that parmesan, the butter, the cream, the pancetta. So I've got the salad now. My smoked salmon, watercress, um, heirloom tomato, and parmesan salad. So we just place that right on top. To that, I'll add a couple of shavings of parmesan. And we'll put some extra virgin olive oil on as well. And that's us. So that's my pumpkin, um, pancetta, and smoked trout risotto. And I've done it with a nice extra virgin olive oil. And I'm serving that with a nice warm, crusty loaf of um, Turkish bread from the Dutch baker down the road. Enjoy!